and this is where we're headed straight up into the abyss look at this top of white out up here Hi, welcome to another video. As you can see, I'm out in the snow for another winter camp in the Lake District. And today, I've come to none other than Blencathra. Brought the miss here, say hello. Hey, you too. <laughs> I must admit, I've struggled to get out the last couple of weeks, so apologies if there's been a little bit of a break in the videos. Mental health, a few little stoppers, bag packed and just couldn't get myself out. As I said before, it's good to have someone to come out with, so. There's loads of routes up here. You've got Holstell Ridge, which is one I really, really want to do. And obviously you've got Sharp Edge as well, I've done that before. But today, we've got a nice easy hike up from Scalesfell. The reason we've come this route is because Kay doesn't really, really, really like the ridges and the drops. I wanted to camp on a summit, so I said, let's come here today, we'll take the easy way up. I'll show you a, like an alternative way up there, just in case ridges aren't for you. Or you want to take a slightly different route. It's like a winter wonderland in the lakes this week. It's fantastic. So glad we're out. There's no wind. Yesterday was a pretty blustery day. We were going to camp then, but I said, let's just hang on one day and let's just come in some beautiful weather and look at this. So I hope you enjoy it. Back out in the Abisco Light 3, by the way. And let's hope we don't have any problems pitching that tonight. You can see where we're heading. Up there and up to the ridge. <laughs> As you'll probably see from our feet, we're not wearing spikes today. Still haven't got any for Kay yet. So Kay didn't have any spikes for today. So I decided not to bring mine, just so it's fair. <laughs> I couldn't be me trudging up the mountain with spikes on and Kay not having any, so neither of us have got spikes today. So it's gonna be a little bit challenging underfoot. We'll be fine. Nice and warm in the sun as well. Look at that. This reminds me a little bit of my Sky Barrow Dodd camp. I'll leave a link above that side or that side, I always forget. If you've not seen it, watch it. It's a great camp, that. And that was up in the Hilleberg solo. Oi. Then. <laughs> I will just dunk you in the snow. <laughs> now I'm covered in snow. Nightmare without spikes. Always bring them. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> I just felt bad if I'd have had spikes and Kay didn't. Not really fair. So might as well both be in the same boat. But when we get home tomorrow, we're going to order some. So if you take the same route that I did, link in the description below, you get to a point where the road splits or the path splits and you can go right. That's where we'll come back or you can go left. Awesome. You can see there's even snow in the valleys as well. So it's everywhere. I thought it was just going to be top level, but no. Enjoying it? I love it. <laughs> Loving it. Well, let's keep moving. Gorgeous this. I have to say, as much as I've hiked over the years, and as much as I've come out to some epic places, I still struggle to decide where to come to. I'd love to know how everyone else is with this. Drop a comment below and let me know how, how are you finding your routes? How are you planning them? Are you like me? 
you know, you plan it and then you keep deciding where to go and changing things or you just make a plan and go. Hello YouTube. We're just taking our time on the way up. I've just stopped to check the map for water because gabbing away, I, just mi I did miss the stop where I was going to fill up water. But I've noticed from the top of Lencathra, about 90, 100 metres down on the other side, there is a little stream. So hopefully we'll be able to find some water there. There is a water source on the top of Lencathra, but it's going to be frozen. I might not be able to find it. It's really warm with that sun. You probably see I've had to roll my sleeves up. Oi! <laughs> to roll my sleeves up, took my neck scarf off. Yeah, it's boiling. No, 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 that's massive. No, 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 no. Right, you're right. Right. <laughs> I could put my arm around you, but I couldn't with the bag. Oh, I love it. Look at it over here, the cornice. Come on, selfie queen. Gotta be careful with things like this, just don't go too far to the edge because you don't know if it just drops off. Just about getting into the clag, it's gonna get nice and atmospheric. Yeah, I'll just turn the camera around and show you ahead. What you can't see over here, scales tarn down there. Bastard. Is that going to make the cut? Oh, we'll see. Put that bit in. <laughs> you know what? You'd be surprised how many times you fall when you're filming because you're looking at the camera and not where you're going. <laughs> Couple of people ahead, family from before, and this is where we're heading straight up into the abyss. I don't know if you can see, I can't see it on the camera, but come a slightly uh, different way to what I plotted. I wanted to come straight up. I thought I was being clever. It's Cutting, cutting a little bit of the corner, but again, because we didn't go past Scales Tarn, that was our top up water source. <laughs> Don't you feel hell well in coming all over again? But well, I had to go down for water. <laughs> this is literally two minutes after, look where we're going, but look how you've got to be careful. And I don't know, this is, this is clear on the camera, but yeah, complete whiteout as the clouds just drop in. <laughs> see, Kay's not a fan when she can't see what's to the side of her, so get a little bit nervous there, but we know it's just a, it's a little bit of a slope, not nothing too steep. Because the sun's just about to pop out the cloud again. <laughs> it looks like we're really taking our time up here, but we are, I'm just enjoying it. There's no rush, we'll be at the top shortly, so make the most of it. I'm just hoping when we get to the top, the cloud drops, so we get a little bit of a, like a cloud inversion, and that'd be awesome. So I've just put the hat back on, zipped my jacket up, got my gloves on. Still no wind yet, but we're just ready for when we summit and the wind's coming from the opposite side. He fell over. <laughs> it's just a bit zigzaggy. Zigzag, 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 then up to the top. Awesome, isn't it? You doing okay? 
just went a little bit wobbly because I couldn't see the floor. <laughs> Every time I turn the camera on, I slip. Look how deep some of this is. Do you know what? I've just been chatting for 10 minutes here and I didn't have my camera on once, but I'm saying hello to these lads. What are your names? Kane, Johnny, Owen. Kane, Johnny and Owen. We're going to be famous now, <laughs> <laughs> just asked me YouTube and I said, I'm out come, let's get you in the video. <laughs> you might catch yourselves later. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> the camera off now. It's still on in case you fall. If you could just fall down there. Enjoy your doggy set. That was the intro. See you later. Enjoy your dogging sesh. Nice. <laughs> this is the summit. Well done. 868 metres. So obviously we've made it up here. We're really early. So I think the plan is just carefully going to make our way over to Atkinson Pike and then we're going to have a little search for some water. Again, I'll have to use our West Maps because it's going to be sealed. If we can just find enough, even though it's frozen, crack it open so I can get fill up the water. The wind was picking up slightly on the way up, but it's alright now, isn't it? Total white out now. So, just using OS maps, I've got my Garmin as well. We're just going to go to Atkinson Pike and have a look to see if we can find a water source. So, I'm sure you can pick that out on my OS maps. Just making a way to Atkinson Pike on the path, just trying to find the water source. It looks like it's there. And it looks like it's not totally frozen, which is good. So I should be able to get some water from there. Look at this, total white out up here. And it's a case of whether we camp right on the top of Blencather or whether we stay around here because it's lovely and flat. In fact, we'll tag Atkinson Pike first. There's another guy behind <laughs> trying to find the same place. So we're going to go to Atkinson Pike first, tag that, and then we'll come back and get some water. Hopefully you can see on the camera, it's just starting to snow as well. So we've got about two hours worth of snow up here and then it should be nice and clear. <laughs> I don't think anyone's been to Atkinson Pike today. Look at this. <laughs> My God. <laughs> this is, I mean, this is, this is deep, but this is on a straight path on the way there. <laughs> so much better than these goggles. Right, and we've just got to the summit of Atkinson Pike at 800 and 45 metres with the wind blowing and the snow coming in. Awesome. Got another guy here as well. What was your name, sir? Andrew. Andrew. And we all made our way here together. <laughs> Saw, him <lo> Saw him lost on the top of Lake Catherine. We were just all in a whiteout. Yeah, it's pretty featureless to me. Must have had some epic views around here. But... Yeah, so I think for us now, we're going to get back to the tarn, or whatever it is, a little lake, try and get some water, and then we're going to pitch up, dig out, dig out the hole and pitch up. Well, it doesn't get much more of a white out than this. Is that guy lost behind us? You all right? If you come back to the water with us and head towards Blencathra, yeah, halfway between the water and Blencathra, you turn right and that takes you straight to Monster Trail, Common or whatever it's called. Oh, I'll right. show you on our West Maps. Yeah. <laughs> Lost wonder in the snow. <laughs> Right, I've just arrived at the, the water source here. It is frozen, but I've started to dig a little hole there. So 
we'll hopefully. You should always bring water. See this, we filter anyway, but I'm just trying to like double filter the water. Right, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the camera away so we can both work together doing this. Oh, that was a mission. We just got some heat warmers in our gloves. My hands and my fingers are absolutely freezing. I'm just going to find a flat pitch and I'm going to get the tent up. Let's get some warm things on, get a hot brew, get in our sleeping bags and warm up a little bit. What do you think about that for a plan? Yes, please. <laughs> it's absolutely freezing now. I'd say it's... I'm worried about this water as well because my, my filters are just freezing. But what I managed to do was use my black Catadin B3 filter because it flows a bit quicker than this one. And I've filtered that into the two litre bag i've also filtered it into here and then that one's just raw from in there but obviously later we'll filter it all again and we're going to boil it so it should be okay so what we've decided to do is come back up to the summit of blencathra because the ground was a bit better there even though obviously it's going to be busier on the summit in the morning and things like that I think the ground was better just heading up and I'm trying to follow my map but you can probably see I've got a right wiggly line because we're going all over the show and I've got my heat warmers in my gloves my hands are starting to recover it was so bad down there having to I didn't think I had my Montaigne prism gloves on and I dipped in the water to clear it and they're not waterproof I should have put these on getting back up to the summit now we're not far off see some footprints now I can see somebody on the summit up there we're going to get up there find the flattest bit of ground we can <laughs> find the flattest bit of ground we can get this bleeding tent up oh. you wanted snow but well, I've got your snow I don't think she wanted this much snow <laughs> Right, I'll bring you back when we've found somewhere to pitch. So what I've done, I've found a little bit of ground here. It's not that flat, but it'll do. Okay, we're gonna do a quick one because it is absolutely freezing. We can't see anything. Three, two, one. Right, went up okay, but again, still got a saggy back end and I don't know why. I really don't understand why I'm getting this all the time. But the tent itself's looking good. Nice and taut, a little bit close to the summit, it is what it is. My hands are lovely, toasty and warm now, those heat warmers, oh fantastic. Just take you around, still a little bit saggy on this side, I'm not sure what's going on with it. I need a lesson in how to pitch this. Maybe this shouldn't be as slanted back, I really don't know. Just can't seem to do much with it, I don't know how to, I don't know how to get this tight. I was supposed to come out with boonies and peaks last week and I was due to come. I got up in the morning and for whatever reason I decided I, I couldn't go at the last minute. I'd got up and you know all my bag was packed and I don't know, <laughs> procrastinated and I couldn't get out. He was going anyway so I didn't really let him down but I didn't manage to go on the camp and then I absolutely beat myself up that I didn't go. Saw his pictures, it looked epic. I'd missed out, I was gutted. That was on a Saturday and I ended up not going out and I literally stayed in bed for five days. Come off social media, I didn't want to look at anything, I didn't post a video. So for four or five days, I didn't even eat. I only left the bed to go to the toilet, it's, it's mad. All because I was beating myself up because I didn't get out. I'm so glad I've came out today. But my point is, I've come out, I'm really enjoying myself. I'm always at my happiest when I'm out. It's brilliant coming out with Kay. I'd just love to know what, how other people, if other people have the same same as me. Is it just me? You know, if so, comment below. Let me know that what you do that works, you know, what works for you because, um, yeah, it's always, uh, I'm, always, I'm always trying. 
but for now I'm out and I'm having fun. Oh, it's looking good. Right, I'm gonna get in and get a brew now. Procrastinated about it for so long. <laughs> See how Kay is, because I know Kay's been struggling. She's been panicking a little bit, getting a bit of anxiety with not being able to see and being a little bit worried, so I'll just see how she is. How are you doing now? I'm fine. Much better now? Yeah. I think with me, I, I panic when my visibility is restricted. Like, the cold I can hack, the hike I can hack, but when I can't see proper, it really throws me off. I think it's with most things, isn't it? Like when you lose your visibility, it's like you start feeling wobbly, you can't get your balance, and then my ears were popping. But we're all good, YouTube. In the tent, finally, got the door shut. Stay at the pants. Look, all <coughs> pants all frozen solid. Look at, look at this, look. <laughs> oh, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. That's how, uh, that's how much snow we've been walking, so I'll have to get this off and then brush it all out the tent. But yeah, I'm not too sure why the vestibule's like this as well. It's not, uh, it's not normally like this. So I think this tent's starting to annoy me at the moment. So I think what I'm going to have to do, is I'm going to have to pitch this in the day and just get used to pitching it because the first time I pitched it was fine, but the last two times it's been a little bit of a, little bit of a challenge. But it is what it is. So... It is early, it's about half past two. <laughs> but what can you do, eh? There's a whiteout out there anyway, so it'll be fine. It's going to be a long, long night. <laughs> I hope you know some good jokes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stuck with you for all these hours in the tent, God help me. <laughs> it'll be fine. I'm not going to lie, we got in, set everything up, just had a good little snooze, and it's half past three. Normally you're not pitching till now. It's been snowing quite heavy, but it seems to have stopped a little bit. Just have big pieces of snow sliding off the tent. It's building up at times and flapping all over the show. The tent, not me. <laughs> we are complete white out at the moment, so it's good. People won't be able to see us from the summit, which is which is handy. But yeah, look at that. Snow on the guy lines. You can see they're getting buried already. So you can see how much it snowed from before. You okay, Kay? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Enjoying it? Yeah. We do have the best adventures. Love coming up here. You can hear the wind still blowing a little bit in the snow. And if you look at the back of the tent, <laughs> you can see the snow building on the back of the tent just about. I think I'll get up, get out the tent, have a wee, and I'll show you around and we'll start to look what it's like outside. I don't really want to be getting out in this, but it is what it is. Oh, wow. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. I don't know why it's so bad. I'll set you up, see if I can sort it out a little bit. I'm gonna have to loosen this tent a little bit. Sorted out the tent, it's looking much better. 
These weren't upright enough. Now they're more upright. So the back of the tent's sitting better. There's so much more snow. Just gonna go up to the summit again. Back on the summit. Can literally just see the tent. Just make out the tent just about. There's been so much snowfall, it's crazy. It should be interesting getting down tomorrow with no spikes. <laughs> I love this though. Oh, best winter camp to date. Sky Barrow Dodd for the awesome views and the wind and the blustery made it a bit of fun, but this for the most wintry camp I've ever had. Yeah, I'm not even cold, I feel okay. That guy that we met before, who was wandering around and he was a little bit lost, I'm glad I gave you my details because I checked my phone before and he'd messaged to say, he decided not to carry on and he went back down and he messaged to say, I'm back down, all safe, so, so glad you made it down because we were worried about you. We were talking about your load saying, I wonder where he is, I wonder if he's okay. So I'm glad you made it down. Can I come in? Okay. Let me in. Right. <laughs> okay, YouTube, we're going to play Bake K's snacks because Chris doesn't eat a lot when we go hiking, but I eat a hell of a lot. So I bring snacks for both of us. So we're going to play Rate My Snacks. Number one, Adventure Foods, Pass Bolognese. Out of, out of what? Out of 10? Out of 10. 10 being absolutely banging, would highly recommend to all your YouTube followers. Zero being absolutely not put it in the bin. Why did you bring that? Nine. It's a 10 from me. It's a nine. Okay, next up, Fuel Porridge. It's a... Uh, first thing in the morning. Yeah, I mean, when you're on a camp like this, four, five, when you do it at home and you shove some extra things in, raisins, protein, you know. Oh yeah, at home it's a solid seven. On a camp, five. Five. Yeah. Four to five, yeah. Chocolate flavour. Snack number three. This is a nostalgic one. Squares bar. Squares bar. Now, Kay's going to write this very highly. <laughs> I'm going to say six to seven for me. Okay, it's an 11 out of 10 for me. Yeah. Enough said. There's no point in doing a scaling system. Kay's giving everything 10 or 11. I'm going to rate that nine out of 10 because this is an 11 out of 10. Let us know if you ever tried one of these bad boys. Yeah, marshmallow bars. The, to Smell be fair. Marsh. Oh. Yeah, they're pretty good. So we're going to say for that one. Eight. Is, is Defo better than the porridge? Not as good as the squares. Seven to eight. Next. I've never tried these before. Sticky toffee pudding, graze bars. Yeah, we tried one of those before. That was all right. It was about a, it was about a five. Yeah, five. I agree with you on that one. Does anyone remember when these used to be called marathons? Snickers. That size, seven. If it was a proper size, nine. Yeah. Too small. This size, five. Not having it. Grenade Oreo flavour. It's just like an Oreo. So much better for you. I always have these before the gym. The mega. So I can't really make that one. I've not tried it. But when I eat that later, when Kay's not looking, I'll let you know. But again, snack size. Why? Why? I already know what this is. This is a <laughs> This is a ten. This is an absolute solid 20 out of Only goes with dead. <laughs> Mini eggs. The only downside is you didn't bring a family pack. It's about oh, yeah. 20 in there, that's it. Um, I've not tried this one. Uh, Adventure Foods Pasta Al Salmon. To be honest, the best place to probably get these is um, is go outdoors because you, you buy one and get one half price. But for now, I'm just going to turn around and show you the state <laughs> of this snow blowing in here. Look. Oh, get the light on. But you can see... The snow's all blowing in underneath. Look at this, we did have everything covered, but we can't stop the snow coming in, so it's getting a little bit of a mess. So, time to make our food. I'm trying to stop the, I need to stop the snow coming in. <laughs> okay, we're having a little bit of a problem. There is snow everywhere. Right, I've not filmed for a little bit. We had our food. That was really nice, wasn't it? Yes. <coughs> yeah, so we've had that, and now we're just chilling in the tent. We're gonna drink our wine. Cheers. Have our mini eggs. Mm -hmm. We'll see you in the morning. Bye. Night night.
Bye, YouTube. Bye, bye YouTube. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. Well, we just woke up. Look at this. <laughs> all this spin drift under the tent. Four season tent. Look at the state of it. All that snow's coming. You see the bottle covered. I mean, <laughs> it's absolutely mental. Yeah, I think we've got a little bit of ice on the inside. <laughs> yeah, what you can't what you can't see is it's all piled up around the side of the tent as well. Look, that's why my the side of the inn is in is wet as well. Oh well. Jolly good camp though. <laughs> Jolly good. <laughs> Wow. Talk about white out conditions. Oh my, look, wow, look at this. <laughs> See how much snow we've had in the night. Okay, open the door a minute, look. <laughs> wow, I think it was cold in the night. Yeah, I do. Absolute icicle. Yeah, you can see last night. Summit's up there, we could hear some people before, but literal full white out this morning. I was so glad I fixed this last night, so much better. Again, just ice, look at these. A full of icicles. Actually buried in. It's going to be a challenge putting that down today. So what we're doing, we're just going to tidy up in the tent, have a quick brew, toilet, and then once we've tidied up and I get outside the tent, I'll bring you back as we put it away. We want to get down early today. Kay's got a breathwork class tonight. So, whew, hope you can hear me with the wind. It's absolutely blowing a gale. So yeah, let me get sorted and I'll bring you back when we're ready to put the tent down.
all done. What I was doing there is just kicking away all the snow because I was sure I double pegged one of them and I think I only pulled one peg out of each so I may have lost a peg but I've had a good look. Teamwork makes the dream work. We're all done. Just left a bit of a patch where we were before. No mess. As ever, leave no trace. Always take your shit with you. I always bring a Ziploc bag for all my rubbish. That's in the front of my bag. So when we get down, we'll find a bin and we'll get rid of that. Yeah, minus 8.4 we hit then in the wind chill. Minus 7.6. Well, you can see, it's, it's colder when the, obviously when the wind blows. There you go, minus eight. So we're all packed away. How was that? Felt him. Best camp yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time to get our bags on. Start the GPS and work out which way the hell it is to get off here. Have you got every confidence in me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, bags on. We're all good, ready to go. Wind's bad, so you're not gonna hear. I've got the course on the GPS, and we're gonna follow the way we came up, go back the same way. Yeah, it's a complete whiteout, so it's a challenge. But we'll be fine. Stick with me, darling. Add in. Yeah, my vision's gone. What's gone? My vision. I can't see. You okay? Yeah. So you can just about make out the ridge, which is the drop off over the side. We're heading somewhere this way. down the main path. We need to make our way down here into the abyss. Yeah, it's this way. Yeah. It's that bit where we've got the zigzag, so we remember it coming up. Yeah. You know, so we know it's, we know when I can't go anywhere, you know, but it's, it is a little bit slippy going down, isn't it? I'm almost thinking about coming down a little bit like this. Just to... No, it's alright. It's actually good how deep it is. It's good when you go deep because it stops you. Sidewards, yeah? You're absolutely smashing this. Just look how deep this is coming down. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> it's so deep. This is a lot of snow. This is snow joke. This is snow joke. <sighs> I don't know how many times I've sat down in the snow. A lot. Well, this is winter camping at its best, isn't it? <laughs> Epic. Just look at it. This is where we're going, look. Be stuff without GPS or up here, must admit. You okay? Yeah. Sure? Yeah, make sure you know your navigation pretty well. I do have a map and compass in the bottom of my bag as well, just in case, but for me, <coughs> useless up here for me, that. I saw a guy last night using map and compass. I got out of my tent at, at five o'clock, half past five, and he's there on map and compass. Couldn't believe it. I said, how are you doing this? No idea. Right, well, I can see a few footprints here. Not many, but a few footprints, so we're going into the white, into the abyss. 
We've been going about another 20 minutes. We're still in a complete whiteout. Just turn, I'll turn you around and show you what I can see. Which, you're probably looking on the screen going, I can't see much, hell yeah. It's exactly what I'm seeing as well. But, following my watch, if you can see it, I'm not sure, maybe. But yeah, it's just kind of this way, down. We're losing elevation all the time, which is good. But as you can see, it's, uh, it's, it's steep. <laughs> Smashing it. Some say we'll get low under this clag. We'll be okay, then we'll be able to see where we're going. But at the moment, it's just slowly, slowly, GPS. Every now and then you get a, a little vision of a couple of metres ahead. But vision now is about, what, two metres? Yeah, it's that. Yeah. Sometimes nothing, sometimes two metres, and occasionally three or four. But, do you trust me? Yeah. Thousands wouldn't. <laughs> You still good? Yeah, it's clearing a little bit now. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, there we go, look. So over here, eventually down there, will be Scales Tarn. We're coming back a, a slightly different way than what we came up. Initially, when I plotted the route, I plotted to go up Scales Beck to the tarn at the bottom and then head up, but I decided to go up Scales Fell instead. It's a more direct way up, and um, that's why we ended up with no water. <laughs> but it was fine. Just thought I'd say the water worked well, didn't it? Oh, yeah. Absolutely fine. A little bit of a challenge getting it last night. It's not ideal to get it out of a, of a tarn, but hey. And I remember rightly, this is roughly where we hit the clag yesterday. So hopefully the uh, it starts improving. Okay, let's navigate through this twisty thing and get back to the beck. You okay? And this is... <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see below, Scales Town. And what would be up there is a uh, sharp edge. <laughs> yeah, just taking my gloves off, taking my hat off. Back to the cap. Also, how good are these Everdick waterproof pants? Yeah, honestly. So good. Yeah. So <laughs> Everdick waterproof pants, 40 quid from Decathlon. If you can't find them in Decathlon, look at Debenhams online, the same company. And also, from Decathlon, four class waterproof, four class waterproof gloves. These are amazing. About 16, 18 pounds, something like that. Yeah, completely waterproof. They come on tight. They go over other gloves as well. I bought a pair in large ages ago and then decided I wanted some tighter ones. So Kay's got mine on. But they're brilliant on their own, but also great if you're putting your tent away or just walking. So I've taken my thick gloves off underneath. And I've just got these. So we've just got to this section and we've just got to cross it. I'm thinking just here, cross, cross, there. We got it. Look at that, refused to take help. I'll kiss you on camera. <laughs> yeah, and just alongside there. We're kind of hugging the beck, so to the go up and then we're heading to the right. This is where I wanted to get water yesterday. So if you do this, if you take it up Scales Tarn and go up that way, 
you got loads of uh, loads of time to get water first. Eh, uh, either. So I've just come down here, cross back over the beck again for the second time, and now we're just following the path up here. I have to say, it's a bit boggy coming down, and a little bit slow going because it's slippy, and obviously no spikes. But I have seen quite a few people going up actually, probably seen 15 people, all with mud up the legs. So I'm expecting a lot more mud further down here. But so far, so good. You still okay? <laughs> Loving it. Just bumped into a couple of people. I thought, who are these guys? Here we go, and we know each other from Facebook. <laughs> Our man. Our man. And his friend, what's your friend called? Uh, Andy. Andy. Our man and Andy. So we've just been having a chat here. Our man's going up to, he's going up via uh, Sharp Edge up to Blencaffer today, which should be interesting. Mm. But as we look behind us, it's Wish clearing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hopefully this isn't the last time we see him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it should be good up there today. It, it's not too long, Sharp Edge though, so, but it was clagged in while we were up there, so. Not too sure what the view's going to be like, but I'm sure it'll be all right. <laughs> but yeah, I have to include him on the YouTube because we've been friends on Facebook for a while now. And I think we met through the He's my inspiration. <laughs> I always follow him and, you know, really impressive. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> right, we're going to get cracking. Oh, as you can see, the sun is out on a typical Kay and Chris camp. We had... Piss all views all night, <laughs> but we had the awesome weather conditions, and today it's absolutely clear. So scales fell behind. That's where we went up yesterday. Got a couple of lads on bikes just come down there, and look at this. You see, there's a lot less snow down below today, but the road at the bottom—that's where we're parked. Just make our way down. As you can see, we're still coming down. We've seen quite a few other people going up. And as you can see as well, it's just boggy coming down. Loads of water. There's probably water on the lens. So you can see the road back there. We're not far off. We're probably back to the bottom about the next 15, 20 minutes. So I think it's time to end the video here. Just want to say thank you for watching the video. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, I'd appreciate it. And if you're not subscribed, doesn't cost you anything. Just click subscribe and click that notification bell. Just get notified of any new videos. Generally, I upload on a Monday. I do I try and do it weekly where I can. And it's at 6 p.m. on a Monday. So Thanks for the good times, YouTube. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's just me and Kay, Wild Camp of Blencathra. I will see you in the next one. Say bye, Kay. Bye, Kay. <laughs>